Hey guys, Clover here. Welcome back to another free to brew episode today, day 69, which is nice. <laughs> uh, day 69 picked up four pieces of speed gear. Only one of them had speed. I rolled it. I got a one roll on it. Nothing too exciting. So nothing really to show you guys, but let's give you guys an update of what the account has been doing. Remember, we've got the fusion going on right now and I've been saving everything I had to do this one. If you remember from my previous episode, all the energy that I had saved, I basically used it up. So no more uh, free energy refreshes in my inbox. I do have the raid update gift, which we had a patch today. So this this will be nice. Uh, I've got a lot of arena ones from compensation from gift game issues and updates. I'll be using those hopefully tomorrow. We're going to have an arena turn uh, arena tournament, right? for the fusion so that's gonna help a little bit but arena is really problematic for where i'm at right now silver four into gold one it's where i go up and down all the time it's really an issue because um i can't really farm comfortably like i win one i lose one i win two uh, i lose two my, my win rate has been dropping but you know it is what it is and i also have the um the metals to actually get another upgrade here for accuracy but i'm just still waiting for it because we're gonna have a cvc on tuesday which hopefully will give me some nice and easy um easy you know stuff so so that's gonna help me out with the fusion the biggest issue with the fusion will be the summoning event so uh let me show you very quickly the fragment events right so these are the fragment events. So these are the fragment events right here. We got 155 shards. I didn't break it down before because I didn't think I needed to, but I'm just going to break it on how I think it's going to go for me. Like I've already done the fire night turn. I got five fragments from there. Artifact enhancement, five from there. We do have the champion training event, which I will be finishing uh, before it it's over. But the dungeon divers is the one that's a little bit more difficult for me. Right, so we've got four events going on right now. The uh, artifact event is over. The dungeon divers. I'm close. I'm at 2,700, so I need I need 1,700, which is a lot for two days, 13 hours. I think it's doable. Champion training. Um, I will be getting another what 3,000 points? No, 2,000 points only needed. So that's gonna be nice. Nice way to get another 15 fragments. I don't. I don't. I'm not able to push for these. If I could, guys, I would, but I'm not. I'm not able with the account I am at the moment. And another big thing that's gonna be what makes or breaks this fusion, guys, is the summoning events and summoning tournament, right? The summon summon rush has 20, 20 uh, fragments. So how this will probably go will be either five and fifteen, which I think is a lot, or either five, five and ten. And then we got the champion chase tournament, which probably going to be five and 10 and the five will be around the 1300 mark and the 10 will be at a higher point. That's what they usually do. Right guys. And the 1300 mark is, is pretty tough to get honestly. So we got 155 fragments, 40 of which are from the leaderboard. So really it's 115 fragments. And if you cannot do the champion chase, then you gotta do the summon rush, right? And everything else. So that's how this this um, these fusions are. The fragment fusions are not easy to do, guys. And the biggest thing is because of this summoning event. They're not that easy to get. But Gaius the Gleeful hopefully will be an arena champion for, for this account. And help me push a little bit higher with the bombs, with the sleep also. Uh, I won't need to push so much for stats like critical damage. Attack will be... I think easier to get and his multipliers are pretty solid. So I think it's going to be okay. So I've, I've tr I was trying to do some maths in terms of the shards that I've got saved up. Remember, I've been saving these since forever. Uh, I can't even remember the last time I pulled any shards. I also have some gems, but I was trying to do some maths. Okay. And I was doing like, I've got uh, 339 mysteries. That's 339 points plus 16 ancients, that's another 320 points, right? Plus two sacreds, that's another thousand points. And then uh, 10 void charts is 1,200. And then another one that I have is another 120. So if I pull everything I have, that's barely 3,000 points. And I'm talking everything, even the mystery shards, right? Barely 3,000 points. 
if it's 3500 for all the fragments it's gonna be impossible for the account to do it and it's gonna suck so so much because i'll be like five or, or ten fragments behind completing the full thing which kind of sucks which is what they usually want they want you to be at around 90 and then they they'll push a pack and you're gonna be like a free to play you're gonna wonder right should you just spend the ten dollars and get it over with so um well that's my thinking behind the summoning but we'll, we'll just see tomorrow we're gonna have the 10 x's so it's all about the quality of the shards that you'll be opening not the quality of the champions that you summon so whatever i summon throughout the weekend if i get something good then i won't really mind losing the fusion but if i don't and i also lose the fusion it's gonna totally suck for the account remember i'm pushing to get arbiters so i'm at the fused relic keeper mission right here 61 missions left to get arbiter arbiter is the goal of the account and after that pretty much i think i'll be um you know stopping this series because uh, also there's not much of um there's not many people watching the series I, I've, I've noticed about around 3,000 views every time it's not really worth all the time that i invest to it compared to pushing some other stuff through the main account doing um you know video guides doing you know random teams fun stuff um and, and focusing my time on that but the free to play has definitely been fun especially season one compared to season two season two has been all right but um it's been around some negative um you know negativity from everyone during season two and not not because of my account but i think because of how everything was we didn't have uh, you know plarium working as they would normally there uh, you know hydra was something negative for everyone they didn't like hydra and all that stuff together um th that's how it feels at least for me maybe i'm wrong but anyway i also got my ugo to six stars just uh, through the champion training that i was doing right now for the event so that's a pretty solid six star to to have overall on the account i'm saving the star right here because that's one of the missions for arbiter to get an ascension to each affinity so it kind of helps me a ton with the um with the quality of champions that i need to ascend i think i also need to ascend a void champion which i, I barely have any void champions worth investing in but maybe those 11 uh voids that i have saved prove to be uh what i'm missing right anyway um what 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 else what else yeah arena arena is the biggest issue arena is um is where i just refresh every day you try to push a couple of missions i get into gold i try to find one person in defense i beat them and i drop back down if i lose and i tried refreshing because somebody mentioned to refresh a lot of times you'll find a lot of one person defenses but in gold one there's not that many one person defenses and it totally sucks and it makes it you know 10 times tougher especially if you're wasting so many gems uh trying to push through but well, you know i've also been doing tag arena which which is easier and picking even this energy right here is nice it definitely helped with the champion training i also have the one shard here which i might pick up as that might be something i i should be you know taking advantage of these 20 points that you get from the ancient chart maybe maybe that's the way to go uh for this but the fusion has begun okay it's all about how tough they're gonna make the summoning event and summoning tournament and that's always our issue and uh, judging from their fusion warm-up i don't think it's gonna be easy and i hope i'm wrong but we'll just uh we'll just see that tomorrow so thanks guys for watching subscribe if you haven't i'll see you in the next one see ya